we have to prove that uh, a is equal to ut plus half a t square using calculus method. So uh, we can draw the diagram. A body initially was at the point A. It starts its motion with an initial velocity u. And finally it reaches to the point D. At that point it continues to move with the final velocity v. And uh, the body will cross the two intermediate points B and C between A and D. At the point B, instantaneous velocity of the body will be Vi. Displacement of the body from B to C is ds, which is small displacement, very small displacement ds. At the point A, the value of time is 0t equal to 0 and at the point D, the time is t second or t only. Displacement of the body from A to D is total displacement is s or total distance traveled by the body is s when it travels from the point A to D. At the initial point A, the displacement s was 0. And at the point D, displacement becomes S. That means S is equal to S. At the point A, velocity is U, V equal to U. And at the final point D, final velocity is V. That means V equal to V. Now we can assume that when a body moves from the point A to D, from the point A to D, capital A to D, In time t, a to d, not b, it should be a to d. In time t, it travels a distance or displacement in this case, it should be d, a to d, final point is d. It travels a distance of s, distance s, Calculus uh, spelling was mis uh, wrong. C A L C U L U S calculus. And in this case, we can uh, um, consider that a body moves from the point A to D. In time t, it travels a distance s. The instantaneous velocity of the body at the intermediate point B, instantaneous velocity of the body
at the time b uh, sorry at the point b is uh, given by vi equal ds by dt vi equal ds by dt ds by dt where ds is the small displacement ds is a very small displacement of the body when it travels from the point b to c in time in very small interval of time dt this is the small displacement of the body in time dt in the small interval of time dt when it travels from b to c as it travels from b to c therefore ds equal vi dt very small displacement is equal to vi into dt <coughs> where uh, instantaneous velocity vi equal u plus at u is initial velocity a is acceleration and t is interval of time putting the expression of vi in ds we get ds equal u plus at into dt we get the expression of very small displacement ds when the body travels from the intermediate point b to c this is uh, what the expression of ds equal u plus at bracket closed into dt equation 1 now where a is the acceleration of the body acceleration of the body integrating both sides integrating both sides we get integration ds equal integration u plus at dt u plus at dt limits of uh, the displacement is 0 to s 0 to s integration ds equal integration 0 to t limit limits of the time is what 0 and t now in the diagram we can explain the limits of time and displacement when the body was at the point a when the body was at the point a displacement was zero that's a s equal to zero means lower limit of displacement is zero and when the body reaches to the point b displacement becomes s zero and s and uh, limits of time is zero and t 
integration ds is s by using the formula of integration third bracket close under bracket s zero days equal now operating integration over u dt and over a t dt integration zero to t u dt plus integration a t dt zero to t s minus zero putting the upper limit of that is s in place of s then putting lower limit 0 in place of s u is constant we can bring u outside integration u integration dt 0 to t plus again a is constant that can be brought outside integration a integration t dt 0 to t now u is constant initial velocity we can bring outside integration and this is u which is brought outside integration in the next step a acceleration is constant that can be brought outside integration and a is brought outside integration and this is to explain so no, no need to uh, denote uh, by this blue color or comma s equal u bracket opened t 0 to t plus a t square by 2 bracket close 0 to t or comma s equal u bracket opened t minus 0 bracket closed plus half t square by 2 minus 0 putting t in place of t that is putting uh, upper limit in place of t then putting here t is a upper limit uh, which is used in place of t that is the t and putting lower limit 0 in place of t we get 0 here t minus 0 t minus 0 Similarly, this upper limit t is uh, uh, placed in place of t square. Lower limit 0 is also used in place of t square. We get 0 square by 2 means 0. Finally, we get s as equal ut plus half a t square. ut plus half a t square. This is the distance traveled by the body in time t with an acceleration a. We get the expression of we get the expression of s which is ut plus half at square. Hence proved this is the distance s equal ut plus half at square. It is proved. This is the distance for displacement of the body in time t. Displacement. This is the displacement of the body of a body. If it travels from the point A to B, if it moves actually it moves if it moves from A to B. in time t with an acceleration a with an acceleration a